In this scenario, we're going to look at how to use Put It Forward's no code integration designer and how to integrate ServiceNow and Workday. Now let's move over into Put It Forward to see how the integration itself is set up in between Workday and ServiceNow. First things first, you come in and you see a view of Program Manager, and this gives you the bird's eye view of everything that may be running inside of the environment, as well as various menus, et cetera, that you can run down. Depending on your permissions, you'll get different views into this, of course. Uh, if you wanted to activate the integration as it is right now, you just click the Activate button. You select the uh, next time you want it to run, and of course, the frequency, real time, hourly, once a day, once a month, once a week, once every Tuesday at 4.30 a.m. Depending on the scenario, you can configure it any way you like. We'll come back to this and we'll get it at the end as um, we complete the configuration. So let's step into the first one, um, Workday and ServiceNow. Now you'll notice you move into the Process Designer. Process Designer is the orchestration engine within Put It Forward. This allows you to control processes across multiple different applications, multiple different business processes, and multiple different events without actually having to go in and build an individual integration in each one of these. The first point we're going to step on here is that when you have business rules that correspond to a process or a flow, you simply set them up uh, top to bottom, left to right, in terms of how you read them. Each one of these has a series of subsequent processes underneath them. And we'll come back into this conversation at another time when we're talking about process designer at a lower level. But very simple, it's just business logic that you set up here. Under each one of these does have uh, integration logic that corresponds to that particular step. Moving into the designer, this is where the integration actually happens for that particular step inside of the process. Um, very simply, on the left-hand side, you have your field mapping, available fields based on permissions that have been set and visual fields selected for the integration. That's outside the boundary of this conversation here today, and so we can get into that at another time. And then on the right-hand side, uh, process logic that happens on an individual record, uh, conditionals, lookups, enrichments, etc. We'll take a look at a couple of those in a moment. Very quickly, how to link the data together, you simply click on the link link, as it were, uh, you provide, you're provided with a series of fields that you can choose from for the particular objects that you're mapping together here. Um, in this case, we're just going to select ID. Um, now ID is mapped to ID between source and destination. If you want to add a function, click on this button here, and a function will open up a window that allows you to um, do things like add maybe a date stamp to that particular uh, field as it's flowing through there. Maybe you want to add some other kind of quick logic to concatenate uh, you know, a couple of values that are in there, or you want to look for a, a substring or you know something that may be very specific inside of that environment. Um, maybe you want to look for one, two, three, four, five, six, and then apply some conditional logic to it as well. This allows you to get super efficient and super granular and, and be able to really control the data that's moving in between your different systems. Now, you notice you created the function, and when you come back in here, if you ever need to know what's happening inside a data element, you don't have to kind of click around or look at any code. You can just see the, the object uh, logic is very straightforward as it were right here. In this, case, in this case scenario, when you're stepping and looking at what's happening to a record as it's flowing through here, of course, you can add um, conditional logic. You know, if this, then else. So if it contains something, then do this. Otherwise, do that, you know, types of functions. Maybe you want to, um, you know, look up into an external system and enrich that data. Uh, into that environment as well. Really, the, the boundaries in terms of what you need to do with the data are unlimited in, in here as well. Um, to complete it, you just simply select save or run it if you want to you know, do a test run at that particular moment in time. So let's leave it and then exit back out into the process designer. Um, other aspects of the process designer here that are kind of interesting just for a moment is that you can create different branches of these and you know clone them. And that allows you to have different tree running with maybe different configurations from business rules, maybe for different regions, et cetera. So you don't have to build or all of that code or all of that process yourself. You're really just going to clone them and then and then tweak them as as you need as you see fit. Moving back to the platform manager, um, let's activate the uh, workday and service now uh, integration scenario. So we select activate set the frequency in this case, uh, let's just select real time because we can and hit save and at that moment it becomes active and the next time it'll run it'll have some statistics associated with that. Thank you for your time and attention. I hope you found this full.